Hello, family. Hey, everybody. We just wanted to give everybody like a quick little update about what's been going on with the delay and the future and all that stuff. So basically we are deciding to move away from Delight as a brand. Um, so if you didn't know, Delight is like a company. So there's chapters all over the country and stuff, kind of like a sorority. Um, so we've decided to move away from that and just become a regular Bible study, um, which means we're gonna change the name and everything. And if you've noticed, we've already changed the Instagram um, name and we're we're gonna change that to our new name when we figure out what we want to, to call it um, but yeah we're just gonna like switch to a new Bible study and we're gonna follow a new book which Gracie is gonna tell you about yes so yeah we definitely love delight have loved being a part of delight delight is wonderful like I know I speak for a lot of us when I say like delight has been something we've all needed and this is still going to be the same um, as far as we're still a group of women that are going to meet together that are going to uplift each other and encourage each other's walks with the Lord and we're still going to pray for one another all that good stuff um, we just will not be called delight delight was just a business it was getting really really structured and yeah I feel like this will be a really great chance for us to still get together as women in Christ and still like encourage one another and I think it will be a great chance to like this is going to be like not as structured so I think the Lord will be able to move a lot more um I know like Keisha had mentioned um wanting to like kind of zoom in on some women in the Bible and do a study like that which I would love to do um but right now I have this devotional that I got for Christmas and it's called um grace grace is enough Yes, it's called Grace is Enough, and it's, um, I don't have my book with me right now, but it's off Amazon. You can Amazon Prime it. Um, if you don't have Amazon Prime, I can Amazon Prime it, too, and, um, you know, it's not, it's, I want to say it's like 10 or $11, yeah. but it has a, it's like a month. It's 31 days, um, which I figured we could all do it, and like every week we could say, hey, y'all, we're zooming in on like day three or day nine or day 16, you know what I mean? We can just do that throughout the semester. Um, if anybody else has any like devotionals or anything that they've looked at, I would love to like throw them out there because we have we aren't set in stone obviously i want everybody's opinion before we choose a new devotional um but yeah this devotional i like so far it has like further encouragement it has scripture it has a woman's story that's super relatable kind of like the delight book had um and then it has more scripture and further reading if you want to kind of dig deeper and then it has at the end questions which are kind of like the conversation starters in the delight book I think that those questions would, you know, serve the same purpose, really get us talking and set the tone. Um, other than that, yeah, we just kind of wanted to let y'all know, like, what happened. Um, we're just having, and I've had some, like, feedback from some girls in, in Delight, you know, and they're like, stuff just feels different and, stru like, super structured. And that's just, you know, that's how it was becoming, and that's not a bad thing, but UNCP is just a really small canvas for it to be super structured like that. Um, so yeah, we're just going to kind of do our own thing, but I know it'll be a blessing to, um, I've mentioned like, I would love to do WebExes where we do, um, breakthrough prayers. Like I know that Lakin, Keisha, um, I think not, is it not? I'm not sure. No, not Naya. Somebody else I know has internships this semester who's up early. So I would love to, um, you know, do breakthrough prayers in the morning, even if it's from like 6.30 to 6.40, you know, 10 minutes, let's get prayer requests and let's pray together. Um, so yeah, I think everybody has a lot of really good ideas and I feel like that's the gist of it. I just would love for all of us to meet up tonight i'm gonna make a zoom or a webex for 7 30 um and we can pray together whoever is able to watch this hop on the webex because i definitely want to get back in person um and have you know like a kickoff um also we're thinking of a name right now our instagram says women's ministries um we are, we're come. we're trying to think of a name. If anything sticks out to y'all or that y'all are reading in scripture, you're like, I love this word. I love this name. Um, let us know because of like technical reasons and stuff with the light. Since we're not a part of that organization, we can't have any, they told us we can't have posts or anything up, but we're kind of getting around that. But I know that we obviously can't still be called to light. Um, 
And, you know, at first I was super sad, but then I was like, you know, as long as the Lord moves, no matter if it's just called Women's Ministries at UNCP or no matter what it's called, um, as long as the Lord moves, then that's all we need. And Lakin um, and Vera had found, it's a script, it's some scripture, but this word's in the Bible a couple times, it's called dignified, um, or the word is dignified. And so I kind of, I kind of like that. So I don't know. I would love feedback to know if y'all like that, if we were called dignified. Yeah, the verse is 1 Timothy 3.11, but it's also in the dignify form. The The word is mentioned like all throughout Proverbs and, um, you know, it's it's really just a verse that's usually attached to women. Um, so I, like, it was kind of just an idea we threw up in the air, but we are so very open to like to um, ideas, whatever yes. is on your mind. and. We might do like a poll or something to see which name everybody likes best, but we we really want you guys to be a part of this process with us. We want we want your input because um, we want Delight to be better for the next generation because we're about to leave and we just want to leave it in hands of somebody who's like ready and willing and you know we'll yes. get into all that later, but we just you know we yes. really want this to be a new beginning for us. Yeah, so I'm really excited, and I feel like not having so much structure will allow us to do other things. We've talked about, you know, if we, like, we're going to meet in person, hopefully next week, if y'all can. Um, That's when we normally do our kickoff, so it'll kind of be the same thing. We'll definitely pick a book by next week that we can all order. Um, But, yeah, tonight we're just going to meet on WebEx, and I would love to just talk to y'all more about everything. Definitely, like like Lincoln said, any ideas, you know, whether it's a name that you're thinking of or whether it's something that you want to do or a supper that you want all of us, the girls, to have once a month, whatever it could be, um, just let us know because we would really love that. So, I love you guys, and I hope y'all have the best day. And... Yeah, me and Lincoln are just having bestie time. It's been a great day. But, yeah, I hope y'all are having a good day, and I hope to see y'all on the WebEx. Bye.